Sports Zone on 7 News. Ba, ba, ba. Bernie and the Jets would like nothing more than to flip the script of what's been seen as of late with the Union Local. We've won two games in two years. We went 0-10 and 2-8. and eight. So, you know, we own that. We don't uh, shy away from those facts. So we wanted to change that. And the only way to change it is by working hard. So the kids have dedicated themselves extremely, uh, extremely proud of them. They've worked really hard in the offseason, the weight room, uh, and, and that's really carried over to the practice field. So ready to get that bad taste out of our mouth. Well, quite a few games stand out in the schedule for Coach Thompson, including the old-fashioned rivalry game against Barnesville, but a team who around here remains nameless. First and foremost is our rival, our last game of the year. Uh, looking forward, they got the best of us the past three years. We're looking to, to put an end to that. But other than that, no, we're excited for each game. We've got a couple new faces on the schedule this year. We get to play Shenandoah, get to play Pittsburgh Westinghouse, uh, get to play Magnolia. But uh, no, just looking forward to, to week one against Monroe Central. Union Local also recently embarked on a scrimmage against Caldwell. I thought we worked hard, but there's just a lot of small things that we need to correct now, right? Kids that have, have had experience over the past few years, so uh, now it's time for them to, to translate and really take that next step for us. As mentioned by Thompson, the Jets' first game is against Monroe Central. High school football previews are brought to you by Community Bank, Ness Repair Center, and Wheeling Distribution Center.